Hello everyone. Wanted to make a video regarding two things. Uh, those things are connecting your TV to the internet and once it's connected to the internet sometimes people have contacted us saying hey I'm trying to use my Netflix or I'm trying to use Hulu or Amazon one of the apps and it's not letting me. It's saying my TV is not connected to the internet. So some troubleshooting to get through that. One, make sure your internet uh, is working at your house. Use your check your phone, your laptop, tablet. Make sure those other devices are connected to the internet. If they are, then most likely your internet is good. So what we would do with the TV then, if you know you have good internet on other devices, but not your TV, if your Netflix or one of your apps is not working, um, you can check this by using your TV remote again and the buttons we're going to use are home and then these arrow buttons and the cross in the center so we'd want to hit home arrow all the way down to the bottom and at settings and network settings here if your TV is not connected to the internet in network settings you're going to either see a question mark there or maybe an exclamation point um, but that will not be filled in and it will it won't show you your network name either it'll just say network settings so if you see that before you do anything hit back to get out of that or you can leave that in there but then what we want to do is really reboot the TV because the TV is more like a tablet anymore than a television how we reboot the TV is we hold down the power button for around five seconds until the TV says powering off and it'll reboot so I'm going to do that right now. I'm starting to hold down the power button. And in a few seconds here, you'll see. Once it says powering off, you can then release the power button. And now the TV is going to do its reboot. Um, this is just like rebooting your computer. It starts doing something crazy. Um, what's going on here? You basically reboot it. Sometimes you unplug it. You'll also see this. This is normal in a reboot. Um, Sony's going to do the. It's going to do the Android. You'll see all these colors on your screen. This would apply to Sony TVs um, in the following series of their models. Generally, the C for uh, yeah, it would have been the C model. Um, C for cat, D for dog, E for Edward, and F for Frank. Um, models ending in those letters. Um, with Android TV settings um, with the Android TV this would apply to alright so now our TV is rebooted we've got our picture back and everything what you would want to do now then is hit your home button um, on the remote control and then it's gonna say preparing recommendations but I purposely have don't have this TV connected to the internet to show you that example when you come down here to home, if you still see a question mark or explanation point, the next thing I would tell people to do is unplug your modem or router from electricity, and then also at the same time unplug the TV from electricity. Um, plug your, mount, your uh, router and modem in first. Um, you can leave them unplugged for a couple minutes. Once you get your modem and router plugged in and you verify, okay, I've got internet back, then plug your TV back in and see if your TV is connected to the internet. If it is still not connected to the internet, after we've done the reboot on the TV by holding the power button, if that hasn't worked, then after we've unplugged our modem and our router and the TV from electricity and plug them back in, then we want to go into our network settings here and uh, make sure that the TV is set to connect to your network. Um, so again, the way we do that, we can hit the home button on the remote. We're going to arrow down to network settings all the way to the bottom and go over one network settings and select that. That's going to bring us into our uh, network menu in the television. And in here, then we're going to arrow down, arrow down to wherever your Wi-Fi network is. Um, I'm going to select ours at Fisher Electronics 2.4. And then here we would enter our password, which I'm going to do. And uh, let's see. OK. 
Okay. Password's enter. Now I'll hit next. And now it's going to say connecting. Generally speaking, it might take 10 to 20 seconds, maybe 30 to connect if you've entered your password correctly. Um, if the password is entered incorrectly, uh, then it might take uh, longer and it'll definitely tell you that. Okay, connected successfully. So now we're back and connected. But that video explains how to reboot your television if certain apps are not working um, on your TV, but you know you have internet that's good throughout your house. You know, your computer or your tablet or phone is connected. I've had a few people call me about that issue, and most of the time, the rebooting of the TV will take care of it. Worst case scenario, you're going to be unplugging your router and modem and TV, and then possibly going back into this network settings and connecting your TV back to your internet. Before you do that, make sure you do know what your password is, um, because pretty much everybody's internet anymore is protected, which it should be. So it's not going to let you connect unless you know what your password is to connect onto your internet network. All right. Any other questions, leave them in the comments section below. Um, any other suggestions on videos you'd like me to make, leave those also in the comments. Um, if you want, hit me a subscribe. Thanks and have a good day.